Hello there. Been waiting all day to make this video, if I'm honest with you. It's me, the Smite Drama account. I'm back. Not really. Um, I think the Smite Drama account was instigating more drama than he was reporting at the time. I'm trying to be better than that. Just here to talk a little bit about Solar Scarabs and their decision to bench Solo or Troll. So... Yeah, that's uh, it's a decision that has come from them. We found out today. It's obviously at least partially fueled by what happened on Friday, where the Solar Scarabs were due to play on LAN, um, and they ended up having to play with their coach. Uh, Slaney had to step in up against the Bolts um, because SOT was not fully vaccinated. As we have all heard over time, SOT said it was a communications error um, from him. He didn't communicate properly. Maybe he misunderstood what was going on. Maybe he just didn't tell people he wasn't vaccinated. I don't know. Um, but basically, it seems like that has been the straw that's broken the camel's back in this case. And SOT has been benched from the Solar Scarabs, at least for a little while. We don't know if he's permanently off the team. There's no replacement come in yet. And uh, Slaney will most likely, well, I think they probably have already, um, I don't know when they have to submit the rosters for their for their week of games, but I imagine Slaney will be stepping in this weekend, which is a very inopportune time for the Scarabs, if you ask me. Let's, I've got, I've got some stuff to show you. So let's go in here. Oh, 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 oh. maybe, there we go. Okay, we got a thing. This is kind of working. Uh, and this should be there somewhere. There you go. Um, so this weekend, Solar Scarabs play the Warriors and Solar Scarabs play the Valkyries. So, I mean, this is not a decision they would have wanted to make at this point. You know, they're playing against the bottom two teams this weekend in sets that they would expect to, to you know, win or at least compete in. Um, they would want to win them. I think a lot of people would expect them to win them. So, yeah, that is not ideal. For them. I think this cam a little bit bigger because I don't have much to really show you today. You can see me in all my glory, slightly unshaven. But anyway, let's go through and see what's going on. I've been waiting for the statement. That's why I haven't made this video earlier. It is now 10 24 p.m. for me. Um, so this was, you know, four hours ago or so. This came out. I've been waiting for Salt to make a statement. He hasn't done. Slaney, however, has. He said, just want to give some insight on Solar Troll. He was not benched for toxicity. He was not benched due to in-game issues. There's an issue with the vaccine that made us lose trust that has to be rebuilt, among other personal IRL issues. It is within his power to keep his spot. So, made us lose his trust. Makes me think that they feel he wasn't honest with them about it. And it's cost them. Which is not great. Um... They mentioned, I think they did a little video. They did a little video on Smite Game. You can see that the VOD from today, it was about uh, 1.30 Eastern time, about uh, 6.30 UK time, 7.30 Central European. Um, there was a little video, there was a little, I don't know if it was live recording or whatever, but there was a little thing in the studio. Some of the Scarabs guys came in and they had a chat. And they were talking about how Salt was a great player. I think Zap said Salt is just a, a fantastic player. He's great um, at Smite, but there's stuff that he needs to work on outside of the game, and that's why he has been put on the bench for now. Let's go through a few of the other tweets that have come through. There's been a lot of Twitter action on the NA side. A lot, honestly, throwing um, shade at layers. A lot seems to be aimed at layers. I'm not sure entirely as of the reasoning as the reasoning as to the reasoning why people are going after layers i guess he has a reputation supposedly uh for removing people from scc teams last year according to benny q i guess um layers is a known roster menace so i assume that's something to do with that maybe they feel like layers wants to get somebody else in i don't know um team decision is what we're hearing from the scarabs there's a lot of mentions of ultimatums and stuff like that. I don't know why I have this biggie tweet. <laughs> they said they won't kick Harry. They might kick Sam. That's just funny. We'll get rid of that. Um, here are the here are the reasons. Benny's actually typed them out for us. Very nice of him. So Sock can work on some of his personal issues. Wake up call. 
might be it. <laughs> I have heard rumors that there's something to do with SOT's sleep schedule not being very good and maybe being woken up for scrims, etc. could be a thing. Wake up call in quotes here is quite funny. Issues with team environments, some things that bring a team down or maybe plateau a team or hurt their way to improve. And there are some issues with SOT that he has to work out and having a little time off will help. Like I was saying, I think all of that was true. It was a team decision, so it was more than just me. And there's a good amount of stuff we left out just for his image. So it seems like he's saying, you know, we're trying not to be dicks about this. Uh, but, uh, you know, don't make it too easy. And this was a deleted tweet I saw earlier uh, about it being an all medium. So, you know, it was probably deleted for a reason. But, you know, we're the Smite Drama account today, so we whip it out. Uh, so there's chat of someone forcing an ultimatum seems to be aimed probably not a tv probably a layers you had to guess okay now let's go on let's talk about it a little bit before we go to the rest of this stuff um important to note this isn't the first time sot has been kicked off a team last year on the renegades he had to take he was told by the team to take a two-week break where rose stepped in um, SOT actually came back onto the team in that case for one week, I think it was. He stepped back in um, and had a great performance. I think they beat, um, what are they called, Ghost Gaming at the time in that week, if I remember correctly. And I think Salt played pretty well. Um, so the week off just treated him well in that case. But then Variety became a free agent and Variety was picked up to replace him and he was removed off the team. So it's never been about individual skill, clearly with SOT. Um, he does have previous for being taken off of a roster because he had attitude and, and, and personal issues outside of his gameplay and outside of his performance on game day, which caused problems. So that leads me to lean towards the side of, you know, I can kind of understand maybe why um, people would look towards this. This was something I saw from Saw. I actually went back to find it because I remember reading it and I, I thought it was a great comment from Saw in the day. It was in his AMA. I went back and found it. And he said, I've learned, this was about um, what have you learned um, when it comes to, you know, being a good teammate and things like that. And he said he's learned a lot, having a good schedule, putting effort into practice. He basically just, you can read this if you want. He went on a whole spiel, just pause the video and read it if you want to. Went on a whole spiel about how important it was, your attitude and, and your performance in practice and the way you treat your teammates and the way you treat practice um, is important for how your team goes. And he saw a big discrepancy between SOC uh, slash SCC and, and SPL in that case, which makes a lot of sense. It's always, the, always been the case. SPL scrim level isn't even that professional in my experience, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, I think this was a really on the nose comment from SOT and it made me think that he had turned the corner a little bit, honestly, uh, when I read it and I still kind of believe it. So he seemed to have recognized the issues that he had on the Renegades and kind of taken it on the chin that he was a problem at the time. I've been Googling around, I guess. Uh, this is where SOT first got benched by the Renegades. In this one, it wasn't, it, it, you know, it's kind of the difference between this and, and what's there. So this one, he's like, I don't agree with it. It feels unfair to me. First time he got benched by the Renegades, that is bright. Um, he, uh, basically said yeah fair enough it's unfortunate but likely the best move um he'd been playing poorly and he was not um working the way he should be i guess he did put this one more on to gameplay himself which seemed like it wasn't the case from the renegade side it seemed it was more about his mental attitude and again he's looking at his performance here but this one we will see i think it's been very um Bad mental, low confidence of creating a worth work environment role will be failing it. Uh, but it was very, um, everybody was very adamant in this case that it was nothing to do with his in-game performance. His in-game performance, he was playing well. And I totally agree with that. I mean, he looks like probably, probably the Scarab's most consistent player. He's been pretty great for them this year, um, I think. Uh, and this is when he got kicked. I guess this is the one. This one is like pretty deficit. Don't really agree with his change at all. This is why he came back into the team. Played better, admittedly wasn't the greatest teammate. 
Uh, we're pretty sure this is the wrong move from the Renegades. He's basically saying he thinks he's the better player than who they're going to have instead. In this case, I think he's going to pop off. Yeah, and he's pretty sad about it all. So it has happened before. It's a shame. And yeah, I don't know. We're, we need to hear more info really before we cast too much judgment. But... I mean, I'm the Smite Drama account, so I'll cast Judgment without having all the info at hand. This is what I do now. I'm back. Um, it seems to me like something more serious than just simple miscommunication, as we're phrasing it, has happened with regard to the vaccine. For this to be a serious mistake, that the, the players are considering a real problem rather than just, you know, someone being a bit daft and forgetful and not understanding. It seems like this is more serious than that for me. That's the way I see it. Um, the thing you've got to look at, though, is who the heck are you picking up if you're the Scarabs? Who the heck are you considering? Um, you could look within the SPL. Who do you approach in that case? I mean, let's look at the teams who are around them in the Senate. You could probably look at the Warriors. I would say no way in hell Nika leaves that roster um, to join the Scarabs roster. It just wouldn't happen. Don't see it happening anytime. You could look at the Valks. You could ask Ducky. Would Ducky join this roster? I don't know. I don't know what Ducky's visa situation is. I'm pretty sure he's stuck in the UK regardless of which team he's on. But I could be mistaken on that. Um, depends how he gels. I mean, he's playing with four European guys, but not guys who I feel like Ducky is. I don't feel like Ducky and those guys are especially... You know, they're not pals. I don't see them around that much, that, that team. So maybe he could be one they could approach. Um, if you look down to the NASCC, the immediate one that comes to mind for me is Relentless One. Nick, if he'd like to move, I mean, he, he plays the game a lot. He streams. Um, he's been very, very good in the NASCC. He's an option. The other ones, he is a great player. I don't know. I think he's pretty young. And I believe he's Latam as well. I don't know. I don't. I think he might be Mexican. I'm not sure though. This is all just stuff that's rolling around in the back of my head somewhere. Dishonored, maybe another one. Um, I don't know if they'd consider someone like Uzi. I think people will immediately say Baskin, Baskin. What about Baskin? I don't think so. The st the same reasons why he didn't want to play SPL are still there. He's still in school. I don't think he would join an SPL team. Um. And I think with the potential move back to land for Phase 3 seems to be the direction it, it looks to me like Smite Esports wants to go, the Smite Esports team wants to go, um, that would be, that would rule somebody like Baskin out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I think, I think if they had a good replacement available, it looks to me like they would replace SOT. I don't know if there is one. And I think... Depending on SOT's reaction now to his being benched, he could definitely end up back in the team and back performing. They could ask Ro. They could try and get Ro in as their first team solo liner. I don't know. He seems to be having a good time with the Bolts, though. Um, and I don't think he lives in Atlanta. I think he lives uh, uh, further west. I, I, I want to say he lives in, like, L.A. But I could be, again, totally making that up. California or something. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't see who they get in the solo lane to replace him. Oh, I saw mention of, uh, what's the old Xbox solo, solo lane? Wolves? That guy was sick at Smite. They get big, if they get Wolves, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate it. That guy's sick. But for now, my thoughts are that as long as SOT doesn't lose his mind about this, doesn't say anything he comes to regret, I think he will end up back in the roster. I just... I don't think it's a good move for the team to replace him with anybody they could probably get. But that's my thoughts. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, some more info does come out over time. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't put this video on immediately. There's a twit longer just making me look like a, a blooming idiot. But we'll see. I'll put, it, I'll put it out tonight. I'll just put it live straight away. And that's kind of what Havering is. No, no editing on these ones. Um, and yeah, that's it. First roster drama of the year, it feels like. First big roster drama, at least during the SPL season. Um, I think we might have another roster change coming soon as well. Not 
Well, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe I don't know anything, but maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. We'll see. Um, exciting times ahead. That is it from me. I have been Hazer. This has been, I've been the Smite Drama account, actually. I'm not Hazer anymore. I'm a different guy. I'm still Havering, though. Um, and this has been a little video about SOT and the Solar Scarabs and their situation. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe, like, comment, bell. Hit that, that, I mean, don't feel the need to hit the bell, but if you really want it, you can. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. Uh, but that is it from me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for another video later on this week. I think I'll probably have, we'll probably have a, a video on the game one, J Dragons versus Bolts. A little analysis video on that. And then we'll have our normal predictions slash reaction to the results video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.